Oh, 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 oh. oh no, madam. No, we can't do that. Hey, uh, right, welcome back to the E4 Transit Connect. Yes, I know, uh, but I'm getting there. Actually, I've got them there, but I didn't do any recording of it because I'm a bit weird like that. I like to keep you guessing, don't I? Right, let's follow the finger. First of all, click, 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 nothing. So, lead, extension, charger, cooking. Doing three, four amperes, I reckon. So, that shouldn't take long. As it draws the current, the current will go down and as the battery fills, current gets less. So, when it's on zero, you know um, it's had enough. Right, what have I done? Lots. Yeah. Uh, the two blue fuses, 15 amps. Both the cables going away from this board are green. Okay, follow the finger. Oh, I've got another pointy finger I can use now, haven't I? And there's a good story behind that. Anywho, uh, one of these cables, there are the two green cables, there, look. And then they turn into red cables. How convenient for me not to know what they were. Anyway, I found them out. This is fuse number six here, and this is fuse number five, uh, uh, just isolated at the moment, because that will be going into this old thing that I've had in my chair drawer for years. I bought this for, I think, for the Citroen Picasso. Have I got a pass? No. Oh, okay. I thought, post you've been. Yeah. Letter? Oh, okay. Right, I'll be there in a sec. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna finish off this bit of an intro. Here is the old shite, and like I said before uh, about the canvas stuff, and I kick myself around the place because it's best to just chop it out and start again. That's exactly what I did. Exactly what I did. There's no point in fanning around. What's this colour? Green. Well, there's no other green. No, because they've joined it somewhere and taped it up, and it's a different colour now. I have about 50, 50 different cables. You've got to find out which one it is. Do that 12 times, 14 times. So I've chopped it around, put my own stuff in there. There we go. That stuff goes to the tow bar, and this stuff here goes off to pick up the feeds from the rear tail light. And obviously, the indicator from that side uh, doesn't go there, it goes there. So I've had to loop across, but there was already a cable in it, which I used. I don't want to complicate things. So that's all in. Kaz has been out with me. Put the lights on. The yellow lights work. And we've got the we got the um we've got the fog lights working. And I kid you not, where I've just wired it myself, I went, oh yeah, that's that should work now. So we plugged the plugged the battery back in. Kaching, it worked. Well, the passenger side one did, driver's side one didn't, and there's a good reason for that. Uh basically when I got these new light fittings. When I got these new light fittings, they came with their own snapping lamp holders, like so. And I thought, do you know what? These are so tacky, I am going to put my own ones in. All right. Wave. And the light comes on. So here is here is a, a tacky, a tacky one. Let's put a bit of light on. That's better. Here's a tacky one. It's just nasty. It's thin. It's brittle. It, it's shit, really. Here is the original Ford one. Okay, it even says Forada on it. Uh, but this is the one that was in there, all right? Now, the fog light is obviously this one, and it did. Carol said, perhaps the bulb's gone. I thought, don't be stupid, because the new bulb's out of here. So I know, took it apart, and as, uh, as it always is, Kaz was completely and utterly bloody right again. See the corrosion on there? And it's like a trace of rust and, and a... And a, a layer of like, oh, I don't know, like lime scale all the way through. And now as we look inside, that little hook there is where the pit and pin goes in and then lo locates. So, look at the tip of that in the middle, right in the centre of your screen. That is the positive uh, conductor. And then you've got the negative conductor on the outside, which wasn't negatively conducting because of the, because of the rust. Rust got in the way created uh, uh, resistance uh, to a point where the lamp wouldn't work so 
we put in the cheesy tacky one. <laughs> this is, I think this is a left, it doesn't really matter, they're all the same side. Uh, this is the, the other side, which is still got the fourth one in, which works beautifully. And uh, I'll put this other pair back into the, uh, sorry, beg your pardon, the driver's side. And now that works perfectly. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clean these terminals up off the original Ford one and put that back in at a later date. One Sunday afternoon when I'm sat there with a glass of Ribena and a little bowl of Bombay mix. And I'm going to sit there and nibble away. And Emma brought that out with me. A bit of finger blasting, I think. A little bit of wet and dry paper. Just take my time and do it meticulously. So that would be that. Right, so, yeah, it's all working. Let's just go back out there. Oh, light off. Right, let's go back out. Yeah, my, my goal today is to, to look at this for an hour. No, it's supposed to be in the van, but you, you know the trials and tribulations that I have had. When I left you last, the panel that's going here has three holes for... Threads, threads, switches. Well, one's a switch, one's a cigarette plug lighter, and the other one's two USBs and a battery voltage um, display, if you like, LED display. Now, I could only find feeds that were switched on when the relay kicked in for the main board behind the dashboard, which is an addition when you put the ignition on to the second click not just the first click to just to do the steering lock but the second click had to be on before that's energized anywho so those two green cables that come off of that distribution board that's been added to this is what i don't get but i don't care that i don't get it because it just works those two 15 amp blue fuses which disappear into the dashboard Via two green cables which come out here and then they turn into red cables which is this one and the other one uh, this one five and six these although the ignition is off and the key is actually in one's pocket these are still live i kid you not so i, I am gonna plug uh fuse five i'm gonna wire that because this block this box in order to supply power to the tow bar socket it needs a live feed because basically it's a switch box isn't it and um, when you put the the lights on this clicks and the relay clicks in um, blah 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 so uh <clears throat> i was i was right initially by saying that you can't just tap into you know you can't just wire up the the uh, tow bar socket that you plug into for your trailer you can't just wire that into the brake light you, you you can't because fuses will start blowing and all the rest of it so hence this relay this is basically a relay switch isn't it so you run your your thing into there and your feeds your feeds from your car into one end your tow bar socket into the other end and then you put a feed to the box which is that terminal there the top one you put the feed in or a switched feed or a live feed whatever Okay, that's a little buzzer there, incidentally. Uh, and then, when you put your indicators on, there's power already here, supplied by this 15-amp fuse up front. All right, and then this little box uses this power to then feed whichever light is being... Yeah, work, yeah, is being called for, sort of thing. So, I hope that kind of makes sense. It's a bit tricky to get your head round. Uh, is there a... Uh, an, um uh a thing yeah, i can sort of make it describe it easier well it's me so no but it, I, my brain stopped working again oh that's done i've over a dozen times today i've just gone this and gone what the fuck am i doing in here oh, i don't like it i really don't like it so how the hell i've managed to do this today uh, is beyond me and probably you lot as well uh, but i have done it and i'm so glad i've done it as well uh, right, so basically what I was going to do, because these are permanent, yeah, and that's permanent, so technically one of those pins down there can be permanent constantly, 
I've put a uh, Lucar terminal uh, insulated uh, female onto the end of this cable, which is fuse number six at the front in the dashboard. And then this is going to go into my switch, which I haven't cut a hole for yet. I've just put a waterproof top over it. Look. It's nothing. It, it's just a switch, but it, it's an illuminated switch. OK, so that will have that that will plug into there like thaw okay you'll notice that there are two silver uh, tabs and one bra uh, yeah brass uh, tab the brass one is your ground to make the little light work everything electrical needs two needs live and neutral to make it work so ground to there of which i'm just going to make a lead tell a lie I made a lead there you go so that's going to go on there and then this will loop up to this switch and then the feed will go the opposite end there all right and then the middle terminal goes off via one of these again goes off and it goes in to there because I don't want the van when I'm out away from the vehicle and it's locked up for the night and the ignition's off and it's all locked up I do not want 12 volts constantly going to that because the battery will drain hence me putting a switch in line from the permanent feed before it hits that and the little switch will be here next to the bank of three holes for the other switches how cool is that that is ace that is just amazing so in order for the tow bar electrics to work that switch will need to be energized in the back air whilst we plugged in the trailer and the plum and the like a trick plumbing that switch will have to be fired on uh, 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 to make the trailer lights and brake lights indicators reverse side uh, and all that work now i will be labeling it in a bit with me little rhino dymo labeler this thing's pretty i've had this 18 19 years absolutely brilliant and now you can get the cartridges replacement on timu jobs are good one. okay uh, i've not had for long enough on this I don't really need to make make a series of this one. This is just to let you guys know that I have actually conquered the mess that was this bloody tow bar business and worked out that that is shot and doing absolutely nothing. None of these colours corresponded to anything really. Uh, just crap, isn't it? But there we go, a uh, little perseverance, and I'm there. I just need to tidy all those cables up, get some tie wraps done. I am going to mount this box uh, on here. But I'm going to put a bit of padding or a bit of rubber or something in there, then sit that on it, and then get some tie wraps around it just to secure it. I don't want it wobbling around in there. Any wobbling, cables are, are chafing, uh, and they're going to work loose and, and come out. And then you've got a whole can of worms of fuses blowing and you're scratching your head why because of that right well thank you for looking guys i hope this has been some help to somebody so if you're putting in your tow bar electrics and you've wired in your box and nothing's happening that's because you haven't got a 12 volt feed going into there i would make it switchable which is what i'm going to be doing personally uh, uh or uh, <laughs> actually in actual fact I could put, technically, couldn't I? I could come out of that fuse in the passenger seat, run it to one of the new switches I've put in on by my right knee, and then run a cable back and connect into the one that comes to here. So this would be switched by the switch by my knee. Why didn't I think of that? But you've got to make sure the cable is the right grade to carry the ampage that that the fuse is for 15 amp in this case so there okay and at a later point i will be converting from a 7 pin to the 13 pin it 
there are a few pins spare when you've got to do the 13 pin but you it enables you to have uh, reverse lights on your trailer it enables you to have uh, all of it fog lights as well if you count up you've got indicator left indicator right stop tail stop tail lights well that's that can, two cables can go into one that's three you've got ground you've got uh Mm, stop tail indicators brake light that's five yeah earth is the center pin which is number three that's six so that leaves you one core and you, you've got to you've got fog lights and reverse lights to put in so you take you pick to whatever's on your trailer you, you don't want to keep opening and that socket up and changing the cables over because you just it's a pain in the ass just convert to to the new stuff i think so right and by t same token if you look on uh say you i don't know an online auction site and put put in tow bar electrics uh relay you'll see that and if you've got uh can bus and you want a 13 pin set up there is another little box which sits wherever you, you want to put it but it, let's just say for argument's sake it's here it's got, I think it's got like six or seven cables on it. Um, and your reverse and your fog are switched through this other little box. It's all clever stuff, if, if you can grasp it. I'm really happy with the top hinge, uh, that old mirror hinge there. And I've got another one coming for this side because this is also wiggly woggly, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm not doing that again. Right, catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching uh yeah we'll see you on the flip side when i try and find out what the hell is knocking in the engine right see you later